Hi, I am Sophie and welcome to my mini video series, a musical analysis of the Bach cello suites. Today we'll be having a look at the prelude of the third suite in C major. This suite was described by the wonderful Catalan cellist Pablo Casals as being heroic in nature. And certainly from the very outset there's this sense of wonderful exuberance and positivity and of everything being right in the world. So with that said, let's have a look at some of the ways that Bach creates these kind of feelings. So here we have our traditional harmonic analysis where everything in blue is in our home key of C major and everything in red is in our dominant key of G major. And you can see that we modulate to G major in bar seven. Before that, we just have a simple alternation between the tonic and dominant seventh chords in C major, one, five, seven, one, five, seven, one. And then in G major, we pass through a circle of fifths before cadencing with five, seven, one chords. So I'm going to play through these bars now with the implied chords, and I'm going to put everything up an octave just so that it doesn't become too bass heavy. So here we go, starting from the beginning, up an octave in C major, our tonic home key. One of the ways that Bach creates this wonderful sense of positivity is through his firm establishment of the home key, our sunny key of C major, and then also the dominant G major key when we move to that in bar seven. And he does that in a couple of ways. Firstly, through very simple descending and ascending scales with a little bit of embellishment. First in C major, and we see that from bar one to seven. the fact that he's primarily using just one and five seven chords in both C major and G major again creating this wonderful sense of inevitability of positivity everything's right in the world our tonic chord in C to a five seven back to a one back to a five seven back to a one chord in C major passing through a six also could be analyzed as two in G major back to a five seven now in G major circle of fifths, four, seven, seven, half diminished, seven, a five, seven again, and resolving to one. Coming back to this pervasive use of scales, in this slide I'm showing how even when the scales become a bit more embellished, when we move to G major, you can still see hidden in them, highlighted in pink, this very clear scalar motion one seven six five sharp four with being in g major three two one continuing on seven six five sharp four three two one continuing on seven six five sharp four three two one and then seven six five finishing on r5 in c major which is of course our one in g major so if i just play those pink highlighted notes it would sound like this <laughs>
taking a step back, we can also find a hidden scale on a broader level, uh, basically going from one down to five. So one, seven, six, five, a simple descent from C, passing through B and A or seven and six to five. That is C, our home key, to G, our dominant key. So I'll play this passage one more time and I'm gonna really emphasize those highlighted scale degrees to try and help hear the connection between them as we go down from one through seven, six to five. <laughs> 